Welcome to Gold Silver Pros. But these are the unrealized gains and losses on securities at commercial banks. So these are the securities that commercial banks hold and they're net either unrealized gain or unrealized loss. Why unrealized? Because they haven't sold it. So let's say you own a piece of real estate. You bought it five years ago and you haven't sold it yet, but you think it's gone up 32%. What is your unrealized gain because you haven't sold it and taken that money off the table? 32% more than what you put down, right? Well, an unrealized loss goes the other direction. Let's say you hold a bond and because of higher interest rates, that bond face value has come down and you're marking to face value in the market. And you're like, my bond is worth 8% less on face value across this bond portfolio. That's an unrealized loss. You haven't sold that bond. You're still getting maybe the coupon payments for the interest rate. So you can still say it's cash flow positive. But if you're a turnaround and sell, that's worth a lot less. That affects the solvency of your organization because it's an asset. And right now, the bank since 2021 have just been, the losses have been astounding, as you can see on this chart. And not only that, but they lost a trillion dollars in commercial deposits in 2023. They lost a trillion dollars in commercial deposits. Why is that important on this chart? Because cash is considered an asset and you can't have a loss on it because it's the actual cash. So there's no unrealized gain or loss on cash. It's just a straight asset. So it has one of the least risks in the system. As long as the dollar is solvent as a currency, it has one of the least risks in the system because you can use it to pay down debt, to buy stuff, to buy stock back, to pay bills. So, so they lost a trillion that they could use to put out in the market and offset some of these losses or to buy out some of these losses and sell off some of this debt and use your cash reserves to say, you know, to, to make up the difference. Well, they've lost a trillion in cash reserves. So losing a trillion in cash reserves is like over a third of their reserves. How are they now going to deal with all these unrealized losses on the books? We're setting up for a big time bank failure here in the United States. 